the law of sines, the ambiguous case, which is the side side angle case. Now we will be given two sides in the angle opposite one of them, and we're going to calculate the height. The height of the triangle H is equal to B sine of A. Now, if your height is bigger than the side opposite your angle A, in other words, A is less than H, then you have no triangle. If they are equal to each other, then you have a right triangle and you use that set of techniques. Now, if you have A is greater than H and greater than the other side, you have exactly one triangle. And if you have A is greater than H but less than the other side, then you have two triangles. So for example, let's look at the no triangle case first. So. If you have angle A is 70 degrees and side A is 3 and side B is 7, then your height is going to be 3 sine, not 3, 7, excuse me, I picked up the wrong number, 7 sine of 70. And when you put that in your calculator, you get 6.6. Now notice that side A is 3 and H is 6.6. .6. So A is less than H and you have no triangle. Okay. And in that case, you go to the next problem. So our next problem is we have A equal 4 and B equal 3 and A equal 40. Okay. So our H, which is B sine of A, is going to be 3 sine of 40, which is approximately 1.9. Okay. Now we have that A is bigger than B, and we have that A, which is 4, and H is 1.9. A is bigger than H also, so this is one triangle. Okay, now if you have one triangle, the first thing you're going to do is find the angle opposite the other side, in this case opposite of angle B, because we have angle A. So sine of B over B equals sine of A over A, and we have to use the information for the A's because that's the only complete set we have. So sine of B is going to be B sine of angle A over A, and so B is going to be the inverse sine of B sine of A over A, so that's going to be the inverse sine of 3 sine of 40 over 4. And plugging this carefully into your calculator, closing all the parentheses that you need to close, you should get 28.8 degrees, which will round up for 29 degrees for convenience. Okay. Now we need to find angle C, that's our missing angle here. So take 180 minus the 40 minus the 29 degrees, and that's going to give you 111 degrees. And our last piece of missing information is side C. So side C divided by angle, I mean sine of angle C equals, I'm going to use the given information just to be careful, side A divided by sine of A. So C equals A sine of C over sine of A. So that's going to be 4 sine of 111 degrees over sine of 40, which when you put that in the calculator it becomes 5.8. Okay, now let's look at the two triangle case. So say we have A equal 4 and B equal 5, and once again we have A, angle A equal 40 degrees. Now notice here that A is less than B, and when you calculate H, you get 5 sine of 40 degrees, which is 3.2, 
you get that A is bigger than H. So this is our two triangle case. All right. Now, what we're going to do is first work on the first triangle. Now, this time I'm going to draw something just to have something to look at. So I have angle A, I have side A, and I'm going to label angles B and C for the first triangle with subscripts, B1 and C1. And we have side B of 5, and we need little c1. Okay, now once again we're going to start off with B, but we're calling it B1. So sine of B1 over B equals sine of A over A. So just to be short, because we did this before, sine of B1 is going to be B sine of A over A. So B1 is the inverse sine of that B sine of A over A, which is the inverse sine of 5 sine of 40 over 4, which rounding to the first decimal place is 53.5 degrees. So C1 is going to be 180 minus 40 minus 53.5 degrees which is six, oops, 86, excuse me, 0.5 degrees. Now side C1, we're going to have to find, once again, using law of signs, and you'll get C1 is A sine of C1 over sine of A. So that's going to be four sine of 86.5 degrees over sine of 40, which becomes 6.2. Now, for our second triangle, we're going to have our A equal 40, our little a equal B, I mean B, excuse me, 4, and our B equal 5. And to find angle B1, I mean B2, we're going to take 180 minus B1. And that would be 180 minus um, 53.5 degrees. And that's going to give us 126.5 degrees. Now angle C2 is 180 minus the 40 minus the 126.5 degrees, which is 13.5 degrees. And then side C2, you find the same way as you did before. And you get C2 is going to be 4 sine of 13.5 degrees over sine of 40 and that becomes 1.5. So as you can see, the second triangle is much easier to find the end.